So guys, as the title says, today we're going to look at editing config files, specifically looking at the Black Ops 1 config file, because a lot of people ask me about this. They're like, ooh, you have a remix weird, ooh, look at, look at the numbers, ooh, look at, ooh. No, okay, so I'm just going to throw this out there really quick. It's pretty simple, and uh, yeah, so let's get right into it. So first thing you want to do is go to your computer. Obviously, if you don't have the Windows button there, then you're freaking weird. So local disk. Program files x86, if you're on a 32-bit, it should just say program files, but saying so most people are on a 64-bit, program files x86, scroll down till you get to Steam, right there, and then Steam Apps, this is the folder you're looking for right there. And then from there you're going to go to Common, and then this should be default where your games are installed. If you chose somewhere else, then you should know where that is, and this is just where it normally is. But otherwise, you're going to get to your main Steam directory and where your games are installed and then you're going to go obviously we're going to go to black ops and then uh we're going to hit the players and this is the config file that we are looking for so for me right here it has uh i have it already set to open with uh, a certain program but if you don't have that you can always hit open with and then uh, usually wordpad will be there if not you can go into browse and then uh find wordpad in there but oops but for me it's already in there so we can just open it with WordPad here. And you're going to want to pick WordPad and not Notebook, Notepad, or, or anything else like that because you're going to want to be able to use this Find button. This Find button is very, very, very important. If you cannot use this Find button, you're going to have a hard time because there are pages upon pages upon pages of code. So, the first thing I normally do when I get a config file is I will come just anywhere where these binds are. These are upon key presses. So when you press space bar, it says bind, where's space, bind space, go stand. Stand up, see? Got some, got some good stuff there. But usually what I will do right away is I will bind, uh, I will bind nine, I'll bind nine to uh, change my FOV to 90. That's generally what I'll just type in first there. That's that's what you need. That is the line you need to uh, change your FOV. And FOV has to be a key bind. You have to press a key. It is a key bind. You cannot... No, 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 no. None of that. Okay? And the thing you're going to want to make sure you have to do is this is where find comes in handy. You're going to hit find and you're going to type in monkey. Monkey. And it's going to highlight you do it down here and take you down to the set of monkey toy. And you're going to change that from 1 to 0. That's pretty much enabling your console. And then from there, it depends on what else you want to do after that. Um, I also, because of my monitors and stuff, I also like to change my FPS also. So I'll type in max FPS. I could spell it. Did I spell it right? There, there's max FPS. So max FPS defaults to 85. This is if you take off sync every frame. If you uncheck sync every frame, that is what it will go to. And because I have 144, I will type in 144. The game will round that up to 167, but it's not a big deal. It's higher than whatever, so that's the important part. So, and the other thing you might want to do is you might want to show the readout of your FPS, because that's kind of important. So, and what that is, that's called draw FPS. Okay, fine. What are you searching? Okay. Find, stop, being retarded. Okay. Well, there it is right there. Because <laughs> find's not working. But you're gonna for if you if you want that uh, you're gonna come down to this one where it says set a CD draw FPS off and you're for most cases you're gonna change that to simple and simple will just give you the frame rate and the um, the latency readout the time in between frames in milliseconds which is pretty much what you most have I honestly don't know if the other ones do anything else different or whatever because I don't use them I, simple's simple enough for me. Um, but the important thing is you're going to come up here and hit save or control S or 
save or, or however you decide to save your document. That is how it's going. That's how that, that that's the very important part. There is uh, save here. Save save it. So and then once you do that, you should get a Black Ops that is very similar to what I have here. I already changed mine to set it to launch in windowed mode. But when you do that, you should get a frame readout as soon as Steam goes away. It goes up to 167, like I said. And when I press 9, my FOV goes to 90, like I said. And uh, yeah, it's, it's, that's pretty much it. That's the simple way of doing it. Um, there are a lot of other commands you can add in there, too. There's a really good uh, site, I forget what it is, but it literally has every uh, every uh, every console command here for Black Ops, or just any of the older Call of Duties in general. Uh, there are a few things for hit markers, I don't know what they're called off the top of my head, but uh, you can also change those in the config file easily. You can also bind multiple things to change your frame rates or your FOV, because you know I, I only decided just to bind 9 to 1. But I could easily bind 0 to reset it to 65. I could bind 8 to change it to 160 or or whatever I want. Um, so, yeah, that's pretty much the extent of it. Just really basic. Just kind of go through and, ah, there it is. So, as for that, that is it, my friends. Hopefully you learned something out of this. And, yeah. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, which kind of sounding a little bit like Zella here. But I'm really, really, really trying to put more emphasis on YouTube here. Hence, I might be random videos, just random that hopefully someone will find relevant. And yeah, I will catch you guys later.